Make his third Olympic team. You know, I'm just waiting for the time when we have five or six guys, which Ed and... Oh, I thought you were going to say you're waiting for the time when there's no... Corey Martin has seemed like he's been a little bit outmatched all through this indoor season, but yeah. he has a pretty decent resume. Oh, he has a great resume. He does. He is. Well, uh, when I was at Tucson and he had his PR, man, oh man, I was doing when he was in, in that hot streak in PRing a couple of years ago. We see him with a sponsorship, and uh, uh, you know he seems like he's settled into uh, becoming a maybe a better shot putter than a discus thrower. Will we see a 200 meter? Will we see a 200 foot discus thrower and a and a and a 70 foot shot? Oh, putter? I think so. I think. And I think he might be, he might be in Texas, you know. And he okay. might be an 18-year-old kid in Texas right now. Christian Cantwell up, making 70 feet look easy. I have to land it in that $2,000 power zone, and he assured us that he wasn't. But it sure looked like he was trying to hit that mark. Ryan Whiting's up. Big lift on that. Easily over the 70-foot line. Again, the 70-foot line's a little bit off here, so you're going to have to. A competition called Hammer Time. What do you What do you know about this? Well, I know that uh, first of all, Adam Nelson's in the ring right here, taking another attempt. Just under 70 line again. So you're a big hammer at Nike headquarters, and and I know that they they wanted to, they wanted to take that hammer throw, which is normally pushed on the outside field for uh, for the Olympic trials, and make it into something special. And for that jump, uh, we're on. Uh, <coughs> Corey Martin right now. It looked like he got around much, he, he much better on that one. Better if that's going to be difficult for you, then the logistics behind the Olympic Games or World Championships are going to destroy you. It's sure. not something that you need to worry yourself with. Go out there. Make one jump. She passed her first two because she was at the high jump, but on her third or only attempt, she jumps 20 feet 11, 6 meters 39, and she jumps her way into the finals. She'll get three more. You can jump after jump after jump, and there wasn't a lot of rest in between. And when you're the final competitor, that can kind of that can kind of add up and fatigue you a little yeah. bit. So over here in the long jump, she's going to get a nice long. She's going to get a nice long rotation. Christian can't at least up. at least two minutes in between in between each competitor. So you know we're looking at when you're throwing over 70 feet, it's it's odd to think that you could do that and get beat, but here in America, it's happening all the time. Oh, you can throw, here's, here's uh, Ryan Whiting, by the way. A little off to the left, as you can see, drifting his power away. That is the tennis cranked so well all year because they're beating up on each other, and then you get to these major championships, you know, things don't work out exactly the same. The, the championship meets are not made to help you throw far, they're made to help you do badly, so. Um, but having all these competitions all year, gunning person after person coming after you every single competition. That, Adam Nelson's in the ring now. Well, it's funny you talk about you talk about number of reps at the at the NFL football combine, and these guys, you know, these done just pure physical testing. It would it would just just be a kind of a joke when well, you, you got done with it. You think of a guy like you think of a guy like Christian Cantwell. You put him at defensive end. Rushing the passer, you, you, he couldn't stop one throw. Oh, isn't that the truth? Because he can, he can, you know, 61, 62, 63 feet, and then boom, he can bomb one. And that's, uh, and that is actually one of the reasons why he scared me more than up. To. It depends on your philosophy. We always, uh, we always did a small peak, and it was, yeah, we were gonna try and throw far. But I remember it set me back in my training. Yes. Because I had to take some time off in the indoor season and, and you know my legs were shot I wasn't I wasn't used to run to uh, move a little bit closer to Reese Hoff at 68 9 and third so uh, it'll be interesting to see if Adam can uh, pull things together on these last three throws Christian's up that looked nice and it was he seems very upright doesn't he, get down in his legs quite like the other guys do he's got knee problems he's got things that just uh, they should they should try and use as much legs as they possibly can Still. I love to watch it though because it always gave me a lot of good ideas on yeah. what you know what what you were trying to accomplish and how it how it huge throw for Ryan White and how it fit into your coach's philosophy on what he was trying to teach you. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely one of the best Ray indoor White competitions the that we've seen this season. Oh yeah. yeah.
Another over the line. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome we to go. America. <laughs> well, Hopefully we can see something big here. It would be nice to see three or four guys over 70. We're, we're got, we've got two so far. That's a better throw. Let's see if he stayed in the ring. Yeah, it was a better throw, but he still looked like he lost that shot. To fifth place. Oops, sorry. Yeah, fifth place at this point. Way off on that one. Okay. The crazy part is when you see these guys move athletically for vertical and, yes. and 40, it's just insane. We, we talked a little bit about uh, Ryan Krauser at the University. Martin's up, by the way. Corey's sitting in fourth at 66-3. Just ahead of Adam Nelson right now. There's an improvement. We'll see with these off lines, it's really hard to tell, but that might, yeah, I mean, he will. I mean, everybody will put those throws up. It's, uh, and that's a, a very unique situation when you, you know, when you get to this level and you are expected to perform because, you know, these sponsors, they want you to perform and it's not like the money, the money's big in the first place, but it definitely doesn't stay. Ooh, big throw for Reese. Yeah, started ooing on that one. <laughs> I saw. Does that be a leader? Right. How you can spot that? Yeah. Honestly, John, I don't think I've seen this many fair throws oh, yeah. by American shot putters in a long time. We usually see a lot of fouls at this level. Not the best one there. It's interesting to see how they can kind of flow and, and just but do what they need to do. Good throwing is good throwing is a momentum, a oh, momentum yeah. causer. Guys start throwing good. Everybody starts throwing good. It, it's it really is. It's, it it is, and then it's interesting. And athletes aren't ready for that. Yeah, Unless you've had that championship experience, athletes aren't ready for that. Exactly. And I think there's a lot of countries out there that big throw for Adam on the line, not quite over. Back now to Joe Kovacs. Let's see what he can do after his 66-1. Man, he's having a pretty good day. He could, on a right day, throw 70 feet? I don't think so at all. I don't really. I mean, it really is rhythms and developing power and developing confidence, too. I mean, if you at 65-5 in the seventh right now. Remember, Russ just came off a trip throwing 20 meters 50. Putters all have enough body fat to stay warm anyways. So I don't think we've got an issue with that. I just think they think it looks good. Corey Martin's up. Looks like he might have slightly improved again. He's just kind of in that range. The black socks and the white stripe. Is that a tape? Or? Hey, you know, it looks like maybe he's got another pair of socks uh, covered uh, up, like a three, uh, maybe three socks, and that one's sticking out a little bit. He's got a lot of elbow straps and wrist wraps and headbands. Oh, 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 we have a new leader. Wow. Unless that line's wet. For everybody, if First place, 21-75, yes, nice. 71-4.5. <laughs> Yep. Well, and with only two spots heading to the World Championships, it matters. Yep. Things are starting. Things are starting to get tense here. Yeah, you get a little pucker on these if you're not careful. Oh, another big throw. We're on the opposite side of the arena. Over 2151, still sitting in third. Jiminy. Exciting races here. You can see that ESPN coverage, 7:30 Eastern time. You can see Ryan on that one. If he can just hang in there with his left shoulder a little longer before he strikes, just give himself another 20, 30 degrees of rotation and then pull hard on that left arm. He's going to hit something big because he's hitting 69, 70 feet every time he misses. He got 72 or three sitting there. And no lead is safe, certainly, with this group like we've been talking about. Wow. Let's see if he's held that one in the ring. I'll definitely move him up in the standings if it's not a foul. But, John, would you rather be a guy 
who can pull out one big throw every now and then when he needs it, or you want to be that consistent guy who is no, just kind of plugging the, us? So here's Kovac's last try. See if he can move up from a 66-1. Martin's at 66-3 and fifth in front of him. He got on that one. Another big throw. Man, he's having a great day. He is having a great day. Kurt Roberts is up. Another good throw for you. And you can request us on our host an event button. You know, I, I've been wanting to throw the Frisbee a little bit farther. And <laughs> can, can you help me? Can I come over? Not the best day for Russ today. Patterson, the American record holder in the Javelin, who's a, a beast in the Javelin. Corey Martin's last chance to improve. Oh, he's just scooping that one. Oh. You can see that scoop. He's just drip, Besides knee strap, uh, and headband. Don't forget the headband. And headband, yes. So. What's with the forearm? I think he's wearing a weight forearm. belt, too. Yeah. Yep, he's wearing a weight belt. <laughs> And he used it properly. Nice. That might even be another improvement. If, we're, if that chalk mark in 2166, only 70. It's a brutal, brutal thing to be a shot putter in America. Let's see if he can pull off. He needs 2160, 70 foot 10. Missed that one, just short of the line. He just needs to give, his, give himself the time to do it by keeping that left arm back. That was pretty good. That was. Man. Just not meant to. But uh, 